Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I have a very much interesting video for you guys. Today I will talk about Kali Linux, yes the Kali Linux, the ultimate hacking operating system. And today I will be talking about that how you can install Kali Linux in VirtualBox, yes Oracle VirtualBox. So you can install Kali Linux in the VirtualBox uh, uh, with, with some uh, host OS operating system either uh, Linux or Windows. So I will guide you uh, to do that but before starting the video one disclaimer for you that this video is educational purpose only. If you hack someone without their permission it's illegal and uh, you may be punished. Don't hack anyone without its permission. If you are new to my channel then of course subscribe my channel hit the notification bell icon to get notified of my future videos and also check my playlist a lot of interesting videos are there in the playlist so you must check that. So without further delay let's jump into our main topic. Now in the uh, previous uh, days uh, what, uh, what you have to do that you have to first download the Kali Linux ISO file either installer file or live ISO and then you have to configure it in the virtual box and you have to follow the step by step installation process. But now the uh, process is very easy because Kali Linux providers actually provides you uh, already a pre-configured virtual box uh, uh, Kali Linux system so you have to just download that uh, system and you have to just uh, add to the virtual box and this is ready okay no installation is required so it's very easy I'm, I'm just uh, showing you guys in a moment all right so you can see uh, this is my Windows 11 uh, machine so this will be my host OS and uh, this is the virtual box so I'm just opening first so you can see this is the, the virtual box and the version I'm using here you can see 6.1 version this is the latest version of the virtual box so uh, first of all I have to download the uh, virtual box image for the Kali Linux so just I'm opening up a browser and here basically I have to type Kali Linux and get Kali just go here and you can see these are the uh, various uh, in the various platforms uh, the Kali Linux is available so this is the virtual machine and it is the recommended so just click here in the virtual machine and you can see uh, two uh, two files are available one is for VMware one is for VirtualBox I recommend to use the VirtualBox because VirtualBox is totally an open source software okay by Oracle Oracle uh, Software Foundation okay so VirtualBox and, and also it is a cross, cross platform of course VMware is also cross platform but VirtualBox has no limitation of using so just uh, you have to download this so you either download directly to 2.4 GB of size or uh, you can download Download via torrent so generally I recommend uh, download via torrent because you can because you can download in multiple sessions so you have to download this and so I have already downloaded this file and I'm just uh, showing you guys in my computer so So I have already uh, downloaded this file. So this uh, actually this is a 7 zip zip file. Uh, I have uh, this is downloaded. And so first of all I have to uh, extract the archive. So just right click here and if uh, you have to install WinRAR or 7 zip. So WinRAR is recommended so you must uh, install the WinRAR before that. And then extract here. So now it is extracting you can see so a little bit of time is required to extract the package so you can see that uh, the package has been extracted and this folder uh, is created so just to go to this and you will see these uh, these two files one is a uh, virtual box uh, one is blue one is red so one of this is uh, this is the virtual box configuration uh, and another is uh, actually the hard disk uh, it is using that is virtual hard disk okay so another is the, the VDI this VDI is actually a virtual disk image you can see and this is the uh, main uh, configuration this is the virtual uh, machine definition right so now I have to uh, open the virtual box and and now I am going to the machine machine menu 
and then add i have to add and then i have to go to that uh, that folder okay where i have extracted the package and you can see it is automatically connecting to the virtual uh, machine definition so just uh, double click and you can see all the settings are preloaded in this configuration so just look at some configuration of the settings and you can see the name is kali linux 20 uh, 20 2022.3 virtual box amd 64 bit and uh, now just look at the settings these are the default settings okay don't uh, change okay don't change anything it's it's fine the the uh, this is the fine actually and it's really fine uh, settings to seamlessly use the uh, car linux in the virtual box so you can see this is the debian based distro and uh, in the system uh, 2 gig, uh, 2 gb of uh, ram size it is uh, given and it is using the legacy bios so no U uefi of course and enable P uh, pae and this is the display talking about the end it doesn't enable the 3d acceleration okay because it is uh, resource consuming okay uh, if you are uh, stick to the penetration testing and uh, the hacking purposes uh, so you have to build a setup lab so just uh, don't uh, enable the 3d acceleration okay and uh, and uh, you can see this is the this is our virtual uh, hard drive you can see what i have downloaded and so you can see this right and it is of uh, 11 gb size the total virtual size is 80 gb it has given and currently the size is 11 gb so and so a lot of free space uh, it, it has given to use the virtual box and and the net and the talking about the network so uh, there's a net network that means the host network will be shared in this virtual box machine so by this way you can add the uh, virtual box package uh, of kali linux uh, in your uh, oracle virtual box and uh, now i have to start now start the machine so no need to install it okay it is already pre-installed you can say and you can see and this is a nice little grub so going to full screen mode and just uh, you can see 5.18 kernel booting and so you can see it starts boot and so uefi uh, bios is not used here legacy bios it is using and this is the opening of the kali linux you can see all right so now basically the default username and password is kali itself so just kali username and password is also kali and uh, i have tested it earlier and you can see uh, this is a switch to full screen mode so totally perfect uh, operating system for the virtual box okay all things are set up very nicely so don't worry about that so you can see this is the full screen and now you can use this kali linux just like your uh, original os so this is the application menu and you can see the lot of applications of penetration testing and uh, for the hacking purposes so you can see you can see some uh, softwares here okay but before before that i just have to uh, go to things this is the this is the graph of the uh, cpu usage just click here and you can uh, you can see this is the task manager so how much ram it is using so 672 mb so very less very less because uh, the uh, the desktop is xfc desktop you know xfc is a lightweight desktop environment uh, so kali using this lightweight desktop and cpu usage you can see all right and the processes you can see and and a lot of cool wallpapers uh, i have here just go to desktop settings and this I, I i very much like these wallpapers right you can see very great wallpapers i'm just showing you amazing amazing wallpapers i really love these wallpapers all right and now you can see th these uh, these are the uh, all the tools available so information gathering so you can uh, see some categories here okay you can uh, 
go to uh, uh, one category and also the popular tools are listed here you can see separately so these are the popular tools in this information gathering then vulnerability analysis you can see then web uh, application analysis database assessment password attacks you can see wireless attacks reverse engineering exploitation tools sniffing and spoofing okay and post exploitation forensic and reporting bugs social engineering toolkits and all the kali links so so uh, uh, and also some uh, uh, virtual desktops are here you can see one two three four virtual desktop this is the terminal so you can run commands in this terminal and basically uh, it is made for hacking made for penetration testers but of course don't hack anyone without uh, their permission okay it's illegal it's not good and uh, you can you can uh, try it uh, in your home uh, you can set up a lab you know, with the virtual machines okay suppose kali linux is installed in this virtual machine and now uh, whatever you will do th that all things will be saved in the virtual machine so you can just use it very well and also you can set up some lab with other virtual machines uh, in this uh, in this uh, host os so that you can interact uh, those virtual machines to for the testing okay so that's all for today's video if you like this video then hit the like button and share to your, your friends and uh, subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell icon it will motivate me and support my channel by subscribing so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video very soon till then take care and goodbye